day everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Teach Rice Kitchen! yung ibang naging episode kasi naging busy si Teacher I for so many reasons. But we are back with our newest episodes of Teacher I's Kitchen. And with this comeback episode, I want to share with you my very special recipe of burger steak with creamy mushroom sauce. So let us start with our ingredients. With a burger, we have here 250 grams of lean ground beef. We also have 250 grams of finely chopped bacon. And we have here one medium-sized onion, finely minced. We have uh, one piece of whole egg. We have uh, all-purpose cream, one fourth cup. And then I have your one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And then salt and pepper to taste for the burger. And then we have breadcrumbs for that. That's for the burger. For the sauce, creamy mushroom sauce, I have here with me, this is one third cup of um, mushroom, cream of mushroom that's powderized or pulverized. You can also use the ones in can, that would be also fine. And then I have here with me uh, one small can of mushroom slice, bottom mushrooms. And we also will need here uh, some all-purpose cream to make it creamier, salt and pepper to taste, and then butter. That's it. And don't forget, we will be needing a little amount of oil for frying our burger. Okay, let us start with the procedure. So there are two sets, one for the burger and one for the creamy mushroom sauce. For the burger, we will place in one bowl uh, ground beef, lean ground beef, and then bacon. Now, you may ask me, Teacher I, pwede po bang magamitin instead of beef, we make use of lean ground pork? That's also fine. Okay lang din yun. Pwede ba, Teacher I, na hindi pwede, na pwede na uh, mas marami yung beef or pork kaysa sa bacon? That's also fine. Pero, the addition of bacon in your burger will give it a very flavorful taste afterwards. Okay? So, huwag yung kakalitan yun. And then, we will add the onions. And then we will add egg, one whole egg. Usually, kapag naglalagay ako ng egg, bago ko i-diretsyo sa pinaglalagyan ko, I crack the egg to make sure that it's fresh, no? Or kung gusto nyo naman, mag-testing kayo ng egg on how to test if the egg is fresh. Tingnan nyo yan sa aking mga videos, I demonstrated that. And then, I will also add here one tablespoon of oyster sauce. This will add to a good flavor. Oyster sauce. And then, one fourth cup of all-purpose cream. This will add not only to the flavor, but to the juicy uh, texture of your burger later. So, again, we just have to mix them all together. If you want to use your hands for this, it's fine. Ako, kaya na naman siya. Walang pwedeng mahulog kasi kailangan na sila naman siya. Siguro, to mix it well muna, we will use a fork mix ko ng maayos. I only start with small amount of ingredients. No? Kasi actually, pag pinagsama-sama yan, if you look at this now, ang dami yan. Now, kung madami kayo sa bahay, you can always double the recipe. So, what do I mean by double the recipe? Multiply each measurement of ingredient by two. You can do triple recipe. Ihandaan sa bahay, gusto nyo mas marami. Triple recipe, anong ibig sabihin nun? Times three, lahat. No? Multiply by three, lahat ng measurement of ingredients. Okay. Allow me to just get those that are here. Kasama sila, malinis ang ating table. Trademark yan yun yun, teacher. <laughs> okay. And then we will add salt and pepper to taste. I usually just add one half teaspoon of ground pepper. And dahil may oyster sauce na yun, pwede na ako sa one half teaspoon of iodized salt. Okay. Yeah. And then, to bind them all together, we will add this. At least, we start with one fourth cup. Sorry. We start with one fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Yan, the colorful na aking measuring cups. Mas masaya kasi pag maraming kulo. Siya na yan. One fourth cup muna of breadcrumbs. 
finder siya. So, halimbawa, nagpa-fry na kayo later, tapos hindi nag-hold yung burger, pwede niyong dagdagan ang bread crumbs. Ayan. So, just mix them all together. Parang gusto ko dagdagan ng one half teaspoon of salt pa. Eh, pwede na sa inyo yun. May oyster sauce naman kasi. Kaya lang, gusto lang ko lang din makasure. Sakto siya. Ayan. Diba? Ang dami. So, this is already one half kilo. Kasi 250 grams each. Pwede naman na ang gawin nyo, mas marami yung beef kasi bacon, that's it. So this is the bacon, uh, the burger mixture. We will do frying. Okay, so now we will be doing this. Now we will cook the burger. What we have here is a measuring cup. This is one third cup measuring cup. Depende kung gano'n yung kung gusto kalaki ang inyong burger. Pwedeng one half cup, mas malaki, di ba? Pero ako, mas okay nga ako dito. Parang hindi natitira. So what I'm doing now is I'm heating the pan at low temperature. I will just add a small amount of cooking oil, around 1 to 2 tablespoons. Kasi ang ano naman, ang burger steak naman, it's just pan frying, it's not deep frying. And then, I will just add, no, for additional flavor, a small amount of butter, a tablespoon of that, to be fine. Ayan. So, the butter, when added with oil, actually is prevented from burning. Huwag nang talagang sobrang lakas ng apoy nyo, no? So, ayan. That's it. Kung ayaw nyo na may butter, okay lang din naman. Pero that adds to the flavor. So, I will place here the mixture of the burger. So, important thing here. Observe sanitary precautions. You have to make sure that your hands are clean before you do this because you have to hold the ingredients. Okay? So, ayan. Mainit na yan. What we will do now is to just place the burger. Ayan. Yan sa akin. Ayaw ko na masyadong makapal. But, miss, gano'ng katagal ang pag-fry? Depende sa size ng burger nyo, actually. Yay! Look at that. I like it. Uh, if it's bigger, it will take a longer time to cook. Kapag medyo mas maliit, syempre, mas mabilis yung oras ng cooking. Ngayon, how do you know it's cooked? Kasi you don't turn it over from time to time. Mas isila yan. How do you know it's cooked when you at least, mamaya, pakita ko, no? Pagyan muna natin ito. So excited. Flatten niya konti. Ayan. So. So, what makes this burger steak more special is the bacon added to it. Kasi di ba yung bacon, it really adds to a very good flavor of what you're eating cooking and you're eating. Halos na tayo, may hihig tayo sa bacon. May mga bata nga, they love, you know this, bacon cheeseburger. So, ayan. And, teacher, ay, pwede din bang gamitin to, not for burger steak, but for burgers? Pwede, pwede. Yes. Tatanggalan mo lang naman yun ang sauce. So, that's it. Uh, huwag mo na sobrang hina, no, baka hindi kayo makaduto. At least, uh, low to medium temperature. So, ulit, hindi natin siya maya't maya ito turn over kasi masisira yan. You will know naman, no, kapag ka ito turn nyo, malalaman nyo na nag-set na siya sa ilalim nun. We'll be back after a few minutes. A few minutes later. So, here, look at this. We will try to flip it over gently. So, dapat ang gagamitin nyo, ayan. Dahan-dahan na kasi baka masira, okay? So, gagamitin nyo kung non-stick pan, non-stick food turner din. Bakit? We have to make sure, kasi pag ginamit nyo dito, aluminum food turner or sa dog, katulad na wala pa na dito, aluminum na ganyan. Anong mangyayari? Ito scratch off yung non-stick material ng pan. So, dapat ito. Always, I teach my students that. Kasi alam nyo, mahal-mahal ng gamit sa kutsi. Yan. Kasi nag-break ng konti. Gagawa na rin pa. Kailangan na. I-break lang yung isa. Ganyan din ako ang isang cooking oil. 
may bacon yan, no? So, mag-render yung bacon from the burger. Pero, lagyan natin ng hunapas na mag Later, you will know if it's cooked. Kapag ka medyo interesting siya dyan sa gitna. Medyo firm na siya. Pero ngayon, hindi pa siya luto. Hindi na mabilis ang mga bagay-bagay. Ganun talaga. Ang tagal naman lutuin yan. Kasi, hindi lahat ng bagay pwede mabilisin. Pag binabilisin mo, hindi maganda ang lutuin. So, you want to eat good food? Delicious. Go to that. Alright, so we are back here. Kung makikita nyo, I have two non-stick pans already. Uh, there's another one para mabilis tayo, no? And then this one, station is a virtual para mabilis tayo. So we will remove this one, the cooked ones. Yes. So ulitin ko, kapag ka... If... Kanina ko, please. Yes. When you touch the center of this patty, you know, while you're cooking, pwede hindi kamay mo kasi baka mapasok ka. You use the food turner and it's kind of firm. It's already done. So, ito yung may butter. Ito yung walang butter. Now, you see the difference. Hindi mo siya doon nagbabrown pag walang butter. Kasi nga, the butter will make it a lot browner at some point. Kasi medyo nagbabrown yung butter. So, what we will do here is to just save some of this uh, fat that we have here. At dito natin gagawin ang ating creamy mushroom sauce para mas masarap. Alright? So, we're back. Ayan. Actually, tinanggal ko kanina, no? Maitim na siya. Pagka ganun, huwag yun lang gagamitin yung butter or yung fat na naiwan na maitim na kasi ito yung itong carcinogenic. Pero, bakit ito pa rin ang gagamitin ko? Why will I not wash this? Kasi may natira pang flavors doon and I still want to retain that. Kaya, yun pa rin ang gagamitin ko. But I will be using a different butter already. Okay? Pero, magbawa, masyado ko yung conscious, ayaw nyo pa rin gamitin yun. So, syempre, kahit pa paano, magkakaroon ng ibang color. Kung nga gamitin, kung lang yung sauce pa. But as for me, I want to use it. Because I want to retain the flavor. So, we add uh, at least one tablespoon or less than that of butter into the into the pan. Ay, pula pula ka po. Ay, lay, 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 lay. Yan. Kaya pa hindi na pala. Okay, so we get a wooden spoon so that it will not scratch the non-stick pan. Tapos, what we will do now is to add the mushrooms. So we will saute the mushrooms. Kaya nga, may mushroom dapat na yun. So, kasi pag bumibili ako ng burger steak, hinahanap yung mushroom bilang, bilang na bilang. Tapos, ganun din yung sauce, no? Ubusan ng sauce. So, gusto ko, pagka burger steak, masauce. As you can notice, as you will notice here, na turn over ko na yung ating uh, burger steak. So, while we're cooking that, this is one and one half cup of water. I will add the one third cup of pulverized cream of mushroom. O anong brand ang gagamitin nyo? Bahala kayo. Okay, well, we have one common brand of that here. So, this salt, dilute it. And then, we add to our added sauce. This is my lunch. So, we pour it in. Ngayon, uh, syempre, as this cooks, no, it will thicken. So, sa, sa palagay nyo, it's too thick. You can just add a little amount of water to this. Ganun naman ang luluto. So, yan. Kasi, alam nyo, habang pinakukulo nyo to, yung lasa, yung lasa na ang um, flavor ng bacon at ng beef, yung sa burger, So, narasan natin yung konti yung apoy para tumulo. Yan na. May pagkaklamsi rin ako eh. Isisira ako. Hindi pala minsan. Madala. 
Yan. Ito, nakita nyo? I want you to look at this, no? Kapag walang butter yung pan, hindi siya masyadong nagla-dark. Kaya, by isipin niya, I miss! Teacher, I suppose the pan hindi siya so no, it's just because of the butter. So, pinakita ko lang sa inyo ang difference na may butter and oil sa walang butter. So, wala pong butter yung pang pan. You can see here, it thickens already. So, lalagyan natin ng konting water to thin the sauce. Kasi ayaw naman natin siya sobrang malakot. So, gaano marami water, teacher, ay? It depends on the consistency of sauce that you want. Ayaw ko lang ng masyadong malakot. Kasi ayaw ko rin ng masyadong malagnaw. So, that's it. And then, we let it simmer for a few more minutes. Tingnan natin ang ating burger steak. Ating burger. Sa pang turn, says, ayan. Mas gusto ko kasi yung kanyang kulay. Pakaramdam ko, lutin mo to siya. Pagka maputla yung kulay, parang pakiramdam ko nila. Pero, sabi ko nga sa inyo, at the center, no, kapag, uh, yan, ito pa lito, firm na siya. Pagka pinrest yun gently at the center and it's firm, yun na yun. Okay? So, tikman natin ang ating sauce kung tama na siya. One more, one more. Okay? One more of this. Precaution. Use another spoon to taste your food. <laughs> you don't use the same spoon to mix. Pero alam mo, na-realize ko, minakalimutan pala. To make it creamier, I would add, I will add small amount of all-purpose cream. Gano'ng karami? Approximately, well, approximately two tablespoons will do. Or one tablespoon. Actually, depende yan sa pang lasa mo. So, depende sa gusto mong flavor. This will add a creamy flavor. A creamy texture to your burger steak. Ang gano'ng nagaya ko. Hindi ako nagtatapo ng uh, empty bottles kasi kaya sa bumili ka lang, bumili. Reusable sila, di ba? Clearly teacher. Balita. Lagay ko eh, makakalit na to. Kakadaldal ko. Malimutan na natin. Ayan. See? Siluto na siya ako. So, walang number of minutes. Depende sa kapal ng gawa mo. Laki ng ginawa mo. Kanina, kapoy lang. So, again, let's taste. See, sabi na sa inyo eh, try, trademark ko yan. Huwag na magre-reklamo. Naglalaglagan ng ingredients. Naglalaglagan pati gamit. Sos, off na natin. Dalawang paraan. Pwede nyo siyang ilagay na sa serving platter, then you pour the mushroom sauce on top, o ilagay nyo siya dito, put them together. Pero ako, mas gusto ko siyang ilagay sa, sa serving platter. I'll be back. So, we will place the, what's this? The sauce on top. Pwede nyo ilagay dito, sabi ko, di ba? Pero, kanina sabi ko, kung ako ng serving platter, na-realize ko. Inayos ko na sila dyan. So, dito na lang. Ang daming mushroom. Hindi na gawan. Yes. So, pwede itodo to, pwede hindi. Ako mamaya ako na itodo yan. Alright, so that's it. Pwede dagdagan pa, pero pwede bang mamaya na lang kasi gusto ko siya isabaw sa kanin. Okay, yung ispreto ko. So, we will get here mm, a fork. Dito ako titikin na. So, we get one. Yan mo. So, we will taste. Tagdagan ko pa ng mushroom. We will taste it. So, mainit pa. Luto na, loob. You know? So, mainit. 
Pasensya na kayo ha. Sa tagal ko hindi nag-shooting, parang ganun ni bago ako ulit humarap sa camera. Ito. The bacon did not fail me. No, pwede rin gumamit ng canned condensed cream of mushroom or pwede yung powder na binili ko. Pwede, pwede rin yun. Either or. Siyempre, nasa can. Actually, mas masarap yun. Mas flavorful yung mushroom yun. So, that's it. This is our my very own version of burger steak with creamy mushroom sauce. So, I hope that you like our video for today and I hope that you will do this for your family and to serve also to your friends in any occasion that you want or for ordinary days. And before I end, please like and share this video to everyone that you know. And you have, if you have not yet subscribed in my YouTube channel, please subscribe to Teacher Eyes channel for more videos and updates. Once again, this is me, it's Pat Lab for Teacher Eyes Kitchen. I'll see you again in our next videos. Thank you for watching.